Hey everybody, it's been a few days since I played the daily. Took some time to play some Isaac, but I'm back. Uh, and I'm, I'm here to tell you, I think it's kind of a rough weekly this week. Let me be a... Uh, untouched tanks. Me when I'm playing Overwatch 2. <laughs> uh, I'm not a tank, by the way. Um... I, I played a little on stream today, a little Super Auto Pets this weekly. Um, I don't think that it's, like I, like, I don't think it's a bad weekly. I do think it's very... Kinda, kinda, kinda hate this, okay? I'm gonna bet on a level showing up. I'm gonna do it like this. I feel like um, it's a very feast or famine weekly. I'm not getting a lot of like, you know, hey, we won five. I'm not getting a lot of fours. I'm not getting a lot of sixes. I'm getting a lot of, you know, twos and threes, and I'm getting a lot of eights, nines, tens. That's not a brag, by the way. It's, it's quite the opposite. It feels like you, your run either kind of goes off or it doesn't, but you may disagree. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Okay, this has gone insanely poorly so far. Let's freeze a pill to recapture some value from this at some point, maybe, and a, another moth. Okay, no levels coming. I would have thought that we would have had a reasonable chance of getting a level, but, you know, I, I've i learned that at, uh... I don't know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I've learned that, uh, it's not the be-all, end-all, okay? Just because you lose to Horse Girl with two L's, 420, that doesn't mean that your run is, 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 is impossible to succeed. All it means is you might be stalling a little bit till you eventually get another level... I don't think we need another one, though. Okay, we had two levels on turn five. This would be an insanely good time to draw. Or win, but, like, let's not uh, count our chickens, you know? It's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen for us, and that's... It's unfortunate, but we still... At least we got something here. We would love to see a get-out-of-jail-free card like a buffalo. A buffalo would hit the spot. Penguin... It's interesting. And Worm. I don't think Worm is any good this week. All disrespect intended. Why don't I pill you, and then we're going to go a little bit sicko mode on this, honestly. We're going to add a penguin to the team. Um, a penguin that's buffing a moth and a mouse is not great, but, you know, what have I been saying a lot lately? I've been saying you got to play the cards, you're, you're, the shops you're dealt. You can't play the shops you wish you were dealt, so... This looks pretty bad. We are on lethal already, I think. Unless we're dead? No, we're not dead. We're, we're just merely on lethal. Okay. This is pretty bad. Um, but if we're gonna try to make a run for it, let's sell this cricket and then, like, try a kangaroo here and then give a moth some HP to buff the kangaroo a little bit. Um, camel's good. It's just hard to imagine that it that it pulls us out of the, the quagmire we're in. And then, honestly, garlic on a mouse just to... If the mouse and the moth could both two or one for one, I would be feeling uh, a little bit better. Instead, we're going to lose immediately. I'm not even, like... I, this is just being sincere. I don't think we did much wrong there. I think we kind of just got shopped, honestly. Like a Food Network TV show. I, I think we got shopped. Okay, now this is a it's a weird way to run a team. But if they have a 2-2 two -two in the front and no mods, it's definitely drawable. Be a misty teabag. When you get killed on Blood Gulch by Master Chief. Okay, they, they had a pig. They had a pig. And yet we still draw. I'll take that. We want to see an otter? No otter. I'll take an ant for sure. I would roll. And you know what? I would add two fish to the squad. And then let's... Yeah, let's set it up thusly. Another draw would hit the spot. I would love a win, but again, you know, let's be realistic. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm being realistic. This is a win. It's happening. Good name, though. Blue Swimmers. I had a couple of them on my team myself. Now, just a little luck. This would be a great time for a level up. I don't think that um, Salamander goes hard enough to build around this week. It's not what we're looking for, but it's something. It's something. I think it's worth selling a fish to get a giraffe. giraffe. And let's buff a moth for now. Really? A moth? I guess. It is. It's our best unit. The ant is likely to be pilled at some point. The fish are like potential 1-1s one in the future. And the, the giraffe was a guaranteed 1-1 one one right now and every subsequent turn. So I'm 
I, w I wouldn't mind getting two fishes, but I think we did what we had to do. And honestly, for now, let's give you honey until another otter shows up. It's always tempting. I'm going to say no. I, I, I thought about... I think, actually, I think one is fine. And why don't we give you one of these? It's not that I think we're going to build around the hedgehogs, because I, I resisted their siren song earlier, okay? My otter. My otter. Hold on. We're, we're somehow completely fine. It wasn't even that bad, actually. Just I thought a hedgehog was a nice little, like a little Jesse Pinkman-esque dose of chili powder to put on top of this run. And honestly, I feel pretty good about it. Um, we got to pill this ant. Sure. We got to pill the ants. Why don't you take one of these? We, we can stall for a couple turns to get it to happen, but we... I'm hoping with the blobfish, it's like a when it rains, it pours type situation. Maybe we can save our blobfish until we get the unit that we want to level up the most, which would probably be like a scaler for us. This is miraculous. This is a miraculous victory. I'm very thankful for it. Another moth. Okay, go ahead. A penguin. I really don't think the penguin's good enough this week, but... And there, there is a butt here. I'm okay with trying, like, penguin blobfish. Blobfish. <laughs> and we're going to try to get the penguin to level up. And then maybe it's good enough, even though it's still, like, worse than all the other scalers. Okay, this is a loss. And that's okay. It's not a loss by much. And we're still, we're on four wins. Seven life. It's not too bad. You definitely need, I mean, we can't ignore the, the value of a pair right now. Buffalo, forgive me. I just think we're on a different sort of, different sort of tact right now. Freeze me. I'm not pilling you yet. I'm pilling you shortly. Let me dump a 3-5 to get two extra stats this turn. And also the level up that'll give us a guaranteed tier 5, which is completely useless. Um, I don't think we care for the crow. I think the chocolate's a little too expensive given how far we are from our levels. But, I mean, we're having to get pretty, like, precious with this right now. That was unfortunate. But again, it was close, but we weren't quite there. In this case, you know what, just because we, we have it more readily available, I think I will do that. I'm not going to lie to you. I do kind of wish that we'd gone for the, uh, for the buffalo when it showed up. But you also, you know, you, you don't want to have every run just be a buffalo run, you know? If anything, I think what might be sensible is to start running the moth on itself because it has the most HP. But sometimes they, like, it would, it, I, I'm, I'm more afraid of the moth when the enemy has a moth. You know what I mean? Not so much. Like, I'm worried that our only good unit would blow itself out on the first unit and then the ant would uh, just be there, like, doing nothing. Just being, like, impotent. But I guess you could set it up like this if you had to. And then you could run it like this. Crocodile's pretty good. I shouldn't have uh, I just ignored the crocodile. Maybe turtle as well. We don't really care about the ant too much. I think I think melon for your frontliner goes harder this week. I'm not that disappointed with this, though. Maybe two level two penguins is the way. Not that bad. Not, not that bad at all. I'm starting to believe despite our missteps, we got a chance here. It would be nice to get another unit pop in quick, though. I think we can get more efficient chocolate. I'm just not really sold on the chili pepper, honestly. <laughs> Although, you know what? I'm actually kind of sold on this. Let me see if this could work. And I, I'm looking to get rid of our turtle, I think. I, a kangaroo, maybe, but I, I feel like... I can't help but think that we can do better than just a... Like a turtle. We do, it's not going to be on this turn, but on a future turn, sure. I'm trying a, a slightly different technique here, okay? Just a slightly different technique. I know we missed the giraffe buff there, but 
Oh, on the moth, that is, but the moth is already getting pretty, pretty close. Hold on. Did it, did it accomplish something? I feel like it didn't accomplish nothing. And I mean that in the deliberate sense of the word. So that takes us to seven. It's getting a little crazy. Okay, so far, so good. We're not even on lethal yet. Okay, I'm gonna... I, <laughs> I really would rather pill the turtle. But you know what? Let's get it. Let's get this show on the road. The real problem for this run right now is when we start to run into 50-50s. Because like a 50-50 with Lemon is going to really hurt this moth. It's hard to compete with that. Steak at some point. Sure. And uh, Lemon is great. Don't get me wrong. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the way out of this is actually... Is actually this. Maybe the way out of it is cat scaling. And I'm just going to... This is just experimentation. I'm sticking with the chili pepper. Um, just to see what kind of efficiency we can get out of it. And hoping we don't run into any like super scalers. But I'm actually feeling like, like this is kind of like a dream come true. This is kind of like the best to ever do it. Okay, that, that chili pepper worked very well. It seems to be matching up nicely. Now we're on eight. Don't really care for a giraffe right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna keep buffing the ants. The, the moth is getting close to not needing it. You know what? In this situation, why don't you take a lemon? I think meat has overstayed its welcome. Let's get some beautiful scaling foods. And a beautiful scaling food, although I don't know what we're gonna sell to get it, so never mind. I, I think this team is on the cusp of 10. I'm not sure if it's quite at 10. I think it's on the cusp. It's on the borderline. It's going to get to nine. What a name. I don't even want to repeat it. It's, it's not crass, necessarily. It's not vulgar. It's just sort of vile. How about one of those? One of these? Another lemon? Honestly, like, give it a chance on your giraffe. We're, we're pushing hard for the dub right now. 41, 49 chili pepper, level 2 ant, 30, 29 lemon. Well, we... Unfortunately... We have the 50-50, the but fortunately, we almost... Wait, no, we're going to be fine. Okay, this turned out not to be bad at all. I don't know why. I, I was so concerned that we were not even close. It turns out a level 2 penguin can get you there. For all the belly aching, it turns out a level 2 penguin is fine. It's the level 1 penguin you got to worry about. We want it like this. In case they run like a pig at the front, we want this. In case they run like a moth at the front... Let me be um let me be a silly musician. Like um Weird Al Yankovic. Silly Al Yankovic, as I call him. We win these. Absolutely beautiful. I'm feeling I like I told you, it's feast or famine. First we famined, now hopefully we're feasting. And uh and uh and freeze me. Give, give me the level next time. It's just, it's hard to ignore that we could have sold an otter and gotten two ants on the board, which I think is really important. Because that second ant buff could have been the difference between like a draw and a win here. But I think we could, don't just think about round two, think about the future. That's very nice. This is, this is a very nice get. Let's um, honestly sell you, but who are we going to buff? It's the thinking man's question here. Roll once. Let's go big spider. It's a little atypical, but the spider can, it can spit out some interesting stuff. We can get rid of a level one otter. It's not even close to leveling. Two more ants and two pills. I'm kind of... Freezing both pills is a little crazy, but it's not like we expect there to be better foods in the shop right now. Might be a good opportunity to, to capture some stats in, in like an unusual way. But I, the hatching chick is the real prize. Like, I feel like as soon as we got that, I was feeling pretty good. And as soon as I got another one, I was not feeling too bad. You could pill a spider too, but it, it's, it's kind of like, I like that it's soaking the stats right now. Let me just do this for now. Very interesting. Levels are, are going to be easy to come by next turn. 
And what do we want to see? On turn five, you want to see a buffalo. Especially if you've lost zero HP. Like, it's... I don't know if you could ask for a, a greater setup. Come on. Work with me on this one. We can't lose. This is unlosable. Mathematically unlosable. Not just like I couldn't cope with it. I mean, like, the, the math worked out for us to be beautiful here. So let's start here. I think that's totally fine. Let's combine. It's very interesting, at least. <coughs> I think we can make it work. I think we can take a dragonfly, pill an ant, and it doesn't really matter who it goes to. And then run a turtle, and we'll probably pill the turtle soon as well. So we're not getting... We're buffing a mosquito plus a random something else 1-1 one, one per turn. But stats are stats, man. The stats matter here, and, and I'm happy to see them. I'm not concerned about um, about all these bees, necessarily, I think. If, this is a strong team, though. If we can make it through this team, like, we got... Uh, I think we got good odds for the future. And honestly, we did just fine. So the mosquito is being, like... It, it's our unit that's going to stick around. Which means that we could, if we wanted to, we could probably afford to dump the spider. If we're going to dump a spider... We should pill it, I think, and see what you get. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, and then probably yes. And I think you take this and you start buffing it. And you embrace losing the dragonfly because we can scale the, the buffalo substantially faster. Like something like that makes sense to me. And then anything you get a value out of purchasing. We Honestly, like a hatching chick. I just don't, I don't necessarily see the value of getting the tier three or level three. Like if you have, if you've never seen a level three hatching chick, it gives you um, experience, which actually is like the easiest and perhaps only reliable way in some of the weeklies to get to a, a level three unit of your choice. But it takes long to pop. It takes too long to pop in my opinion. That being said, get out of here, stinky. Um, it also gives a 1-1 one, one and then gives a 2-2, two, two, like a 1-1 one, one to the hatching chick and the 2-2 two, two to the buffalo. So it's a 3-3 three, three stats for one that doesn't necessarily take up space, which kind of seems like overpowered. So it doesn't necessarily take up space. I'm making it take up space here. And then if I'm being honest, I kind of like this right here. I know it's a little kooky. So, like, you do end of turn until end of battle. So, you're actually not going to work. I thought that you would copy the, the effect of this, but you're going to, like, end turn copy ability until end of battle. I don't think you're actually going to work. I wish that I believed that you would, but I don't think you're going to. So, let's actually... I, I love a deer here. And then let's buff the hatching chicks with the other hatching chick for now. And remember, that 2-2 buff that's coming out is, is Kaiser Permanente. It's permanent. So that's... Oh, no. This is like the exact team we don't want to face when we're running a, a deer. Although, we are going to blow the camel out. They're going to start hurting their own kangaroo. Not as much as I would like, though. Not as much as I need it. Okay. I still love the team, okay? I'm still... You're still very optimistic. I honestly, no, we got to just be a little smarter about it. Drop one of these on him. We want a turtle. We can at least talk about a turtle for a minute, especially if we get a pill. Might as well toss this up here for now. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know where to put my turtle. I feel like, because we want you to take the, uh, it's, it's very strange. It's very strange indeed. Is it? I feel like 1717 Melon like should be good enough to get the job done. But then I'm looking at this and I'm like, every opponent that we're facing is like, uh, like their team is just better than ours in every conceivable aspect. <laughs> we got maybe a little lucky with the draw there, thanks to the turtle. But I feel like this hatching chick scaling is not. It's not working at the speed in which I need it to. Maybe maybe we will try experience. Now this is an interesting, it's an interesting moment here. <laughs> I 
I get that we're wasting one of the melons for now, but we won't be wasting it if a pill shows up. And this allows the 11-9 to get melon armor. I get that the 23-23 already has melon armor, okay? But this allows us, at the, at the very least, we're getting the buff on the buffalo. It's right there in the name, okay? And then we're getting... Holy cow, this was close. Then we're getting the melon on the most valuable unit, and we can pill this turtle to give two melon armors back. Okay, guess what? You're getting experience. Definitely seems like a, a clownfish could work with this squad, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna hazard the guess that it's a little too late. No pills, huh? Like you gotta go. We need we need something more. We need something better. It's not you, you're the same. No pills. Okay, so this is a sell and a buy. And you have one trigger left. And then a sell. And then a buy. And then we hope that we win. But if we don't win, we have the snail to give the buff to the whole squad. It's not a huge buff at this stage of our lives, but it's, uh, it's certainly something. Oh, it's, it's certainly something. I, we made it through. Please give me a pill. I don't even want to know what the YouTube comments look like. How many times have we wasted this turtle buff? It's not about wasting the turtle buff. Sometimes doing the wrong thing can be the right thing if you don't. I'm a people person, okay? So, um, we should do something else with our hatching chick this turn. It should maybe make a deer level up or maybe work on the penguins level. We'll find that as time goes on. We do have the pill now. We'll use it next turn. Um, let's have the deer level up for now. And now we need like this, which makes so little sense. <laughs> let's run you at the front. And guess what? Everybody's getting some ice cream. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I know it looks very weird. Deer in the middle. Deer at the front, very common. Deer at the back, a little cheeky. You'll see it sometimes. Deer in the middle, extremely rare. And yet, would you look at this? Excuse me, am I missing something? Oh, it's a end of start of turn probably, right? Start of turn, okay, that's fine. Um, honestly, this is a good time for this. You guys might as well take advantage of that. And then we should probably buy and sell and then buff and then let the penguin level up next turn. And maybe we just run like a... Maybe we roll and run a... I'm going to run a dragonfly out here. But I do think that like the parrot also could have been fun. But it's a nice buff. It's not, a, it's not an inconsequential buff. We've got a great amount of positive equipment for ourselves here. Wait a minute, it's all going wrong. Maybe our equipment means means squat right now. It it does mean squat. We got through their frontliner, but the rest of the squad was still there. Okay, there's a level 2. You should go. You should be purchased. You should you should probably be fed, honest. Although we're gonna buy some more units on this turn. Honestly, the hatching chick should start to pop off. We're gonna buy you. We're gonna buy you. We're also gonna give you the buff, so next turn you pop. And I think we're gonna set it up like that. And then, I don't know who to put on the squad, man. I guess an alpaca? I don't think it matters who's where's where. Who's who, where's where. At the very least, it's a it's certainly a bit of a unique team. Level three hatching chick, level three deer, like these are not common these are not common units for me to be rolling. And I think we're gonna live through this round right here. Look at this. I mean that was not even close really. We got one more no, we got two more. We gotta win two more before we lose one. Level three deer is kinda sick with it. It's like I know, if we just we're so close. I think we got to do sell, buy, sell, you, you. We don't need to spawn it like this, but that's okay. Like this. 
I don't know what to do, honestly. Um, like all of the, none of these units do anything except give our buffalo a buff. Like you could put a piranha at the front. I don't really want it to be at the front though, because what if they have like a chili pepper or like a kangaroo driven unit? So I actually think I'll just put it, you know, I'll put it at the back and hope that it gets sniped by a crocodile. How's that for galaxy brain? Also, you're supposed to move the hatching chick so that it buffs the, it, it, it worked, he's a genius. You're supposed to move the hatching chick though so that it buffs the penguin. That was the whole reason it was there in the first place. But still, okay, now we got like a 50-50 buffalo. We're on nine wins. You need to go? You don't need to go immediately, though. That might have been like an ice cream time. But I actually, I think that the piranha can go, even without waiting for a pill, because Lord knows if it'll ever show up. And then you, a, a crocodile of my own is fine. In case we draw, we do, ah, but I don't know. May, at this point, maybe we actually don't care about a level three penguin, because the odds of us drawing are like 1%. This late in the game, the teams are usually differentiated enough. It's either like a guaranteed win or loss situation. By the way, a pill did show up. Um, and what do you give? You would give... You're going to give possibly good stats. But there's a part of me, to be honest, that can't shake the feeling that we'd actually be better off selling a penguin and adding a lionfish onto the team to overwrite a piece of equipment. And I... We're giving up some stats to do it, but I think that we're... It's a Hail Mary that I'm okay with. Hold on, we've overridden the deer. We're not gonna override the bus, unfortunately, but... But, w wait a minute. We're gonna be doing amazing stuff regardless. We're gonna be doing incredible stuff regardless. Run the numbers. Run the numbers and tell me if the lionfish made that happen. Because I feel like it might have. That was, uh, I feel very accomplished. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. By the way, I can't stop seeing these as, like, bangs. I know they're, they're horns, but I can't stop seeing them as bangs. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did, and I'll see you next time. See ya!